is my first full-length album. I've released some singles and an EP, but uh, pretty much since I began writing original music, I've wanted to do a full-length album because I've always really wanted to do something more thematic with my writing. And so the theme of Genesis is beginnings and particularly a beginning after an end. So I had this vision of a post-apocalyptic world and what that would look like, what the world would look like if it were starting again. but my earliest memory is of singing and I used to try to sing operatic music. I don't know if I was any good at it at the time, but uh, I always used to try to sing Ave Maria and even like Ness and Dorma, some tenor arias. And I kind of knew from an early age that music was what I wanted to do. I started writing original music shortly after I started classical training and that was when I started to want to explore mixing some styles together. I was really heavily influenced by opera and symphonic music, but also metal, hard rock, and symphonic gothic rock in particular. So um, this album really was like a, an opportunity to finally challenge myself to make a whole complete work in my style and bring together as many musical skills as I could. Hello, hello! We are here today at Loudmouth Studios in Toronto, Ontario, getting started with the first session for my new album, full-length album, called Genesis! And we are here today tracking bass, guitar, drums, and some vocals. And uh, very excited to get the process started, working with my guys, with my very, very talented musicians, and none other than the master himself, Mr. Kevin Dietz. <laughs> with this album to be able to work with very talented session players and for this album I did actually write most of the parts with very specific people in mind. So uh, Sammy Duke for example who has been with me for a while, almost as long as I've been doing original music, was exactly the person that I pictured playing all of the guitar parts that I wrote. Yeah, so we met about eight years ago. We were working at the same teaching studio, actually. Uh, she was teaching vocals, and I was teaching mostly guitar lessons along with a few other instruments I play. I happen to be a big fan of symphonic metal, and that worked out really well because it's a wonderful genre of music, and she does an absolutely fantastic job showcasing that genre. <laughs> solos in this album specifically for him and his skill set. Bass guitar played by Dan Corrigan. The first time I had heard of Cecile is actually it's playing in an uh, industrial metal band back in the day called uh, The Death Cartel and um, our keyboard player had uh, told me about her, he had found out about her um, she was actually teaching uh, voice lessons to, his, to his, uh, his daughters. Here I am, years later, playing the bass in it. And he also played upright bass. He's a classically trained musician as well.
And we're really, really fortunate to have Robert Crowder on drums, formerly of Crimson Breed. time I heard of Cecile Monique was due to a radio station, a local community radio station that was playing my band at the time. Cecile had asked me to a uh, drum on a video and at that time we had a big long conversation and talking about drums and, and, and her album and Genesis and that's when it kind of started from there. And he came on board to play all of the drum tracks for us so I wrote uh, some more challenging uh, double kick and really a little bit heavier metal inspired drums because I know that he is the master of that. So I couldn't be happier to be working with the amazing musicians that I've been working with. No, I'll, I'll, I'll get right. No, it's sounding really good. Yeah, it's a great tone. Yeah. Um, nice. Any other any other, any other notes uh, Kevin told? No, I, I think he's nice and even. Yeah. It, it sounds really nice and even. Yeah, there's a couple couple songs. I, I noticed particularly the da, da, da. That one is always a little... much a symphonically influenced album. I wrote every piece from Genesis with the idea of putting it together as a total work. So to me, symphonic music isn't just a style, it's kind of like a state of mind <laughs> for the composer when you're writing. Symphonic music, like what I grew up listening to, like Beethoven, you hear a certain continuity from one movement to the next. So I really wanted this album to have that feel. I'd say it's more a thematic album, more so than a concept album. The unifying theme being beginnings, new beginnings, and uh, the struggle between life and death. <laughs> co-produced by Kevin Deeds, who I have worked with for about nine years now. He worked with me since I first started producing and recording my own original music. And um, what can I say about Kevin? He's fantastic. He really has a deep understanding of the style that I'm trying to achieve with my original music. And he always brings so much knowledge, wisdom, and patience <laughs> to every session when we work together. So I was so fortunate to work with him again. The artwork and visual concept for Genesis revolves around two main images and I was really fortunate to work with my good friend Christina Martins of Christina Photography who helped me put together all of the visuals for Genesis. The two images are an apple in one hand and a skull in the other and the apple represents knowledge and life and the skull represents death and decay and I'm sort of putting both options to you and saying choose and that's a big theme throughout Genesis, throughout all of the songs, examining you know the choices between thriving and surviving or decaying. Hi, I'm Phil Dimitro, working out of the Locker Channel in Toronto, and uh, today we are working on the uh, Genesis album by Cecile Monique. It's a fantastic record. I'm so happy that the finale has vocals and is not instrumental. How about that? Being a classically trained vocalist, um, I wanted to write very idiosyncratically for my voice. I definitely wanted all the instrumental components to have their shining moments and everything to really work together in a very symphonic way. 
but definitely a good balance of modern vocal techniques and old school classical vocal techniques was uh, important. It was something that I wanted to showcase in this album to give a lot of variety for the listeners and to give this whole album a very neoclassical kind of feel. of artists who do this kind of thing in the Canadian scene. It's goth, obviously, but it still has that kind of, uh, and symphonic, which is uh, uh, something that I'm, I, I like, that quality in any kind of music, uh, the kind of, uh, the melodies and flows to the song, the rhythm, and she has the drive. I think especially uh, in the context of Canada in particular, in North America, I, I find there's very few bands doing this, and I, I feel like it's something that I'd, I'd love to see a lot more of, and I'm like, I'm really glad Cecile is doing this kind of music. People are going to be very impressed and surprised with this. I know I was when I heard it. I'm a, I'm a big music fan in general as well, so hearing this album for the first time was really kind of eye-opening for me. I was blown away even though as part of the process it still was kind of like just a, like I'd never heard any of it before. I know myself there's at least two or three tracks on the album that are uh, I think standout tracks that I would gladly hear or pay anytime anywhere. I hope she'll win like 25 Grammys and like 27 Junos and something like that. So. Woo! Good work everyone!